Hey, it's Miss Suzanne with SLP Play With Me. Today we're actually going to talk about S articulation and how to use those gestural kinesthetic tactile cues to let us know how to produce the sound. Remember, in our other video, we did front, ha, ba, ma, wa, middle, ta, da, na, na, la, cha, ja, and back, ka, ga, rrr. Sometimes this can help your kiddos with strategies on how to say sounds. Now, the S often gets pushed forward or sideways. Because I try to like to avoid the tongue thrusting forward in the S or going sideways with the airflow, I like to use this gestural kinesthetic cue that goes like this. Lightly, either both sides of the face or one. Just to, I and you know what? I know the air is going forward, okay? But it does help to show the tongue to go back. If you're having trouble with that air going forward, if it's going sideways, you can kind of take the air this way and the tongue going back. Some may even try the T like this, but some kids actually say their S with a downward tongue movement and some say it with an upward tongue movement. So for today, we're just going to do a general S flow, but definitely check with your personal speech language pathologist on the best method for your child because Every kid is different, and that's why it's so necessary to have your own speech pathologist show you the best method for you. Well, let's just practice today and see if it works. I'm going to do some language articulation auditory bombardments. That means I'm going to say it over and over and maybe irritate you, but I bet you might get it at the end. So let's see an S story and use our gestural tactile kinesthetic cues at the mouth level. And it goes like this. C, C, what do I see? I see a tree. Yes, I see a tree. C, C, what do I see? I see, oh, missed it. Go back. I see a bee. Yes, I see a bee. Bzz. That's a bear with the S and the Z. Do that one again. Let's keep going. See, see, what do you see? I see a monkey. I see a tree. Do you see a bee? Uh oh. I see a monkey. I see a tree. Do you see a bee? Bzzz. Uh-oh, a tree, a bee, I see the monkey in the tree. What do you see? Yes, what do you see? Look, look, what do you see? I see the bee fly to the tree. I see the bee on the monkey's tree. Look in the tree. What do you see? 
I see the monkey. Look at the tree. O C. Missed one. O C. What do you see? Ooh. I see the monkey hit at the bee. Oh, the monkey hit at the bee. Now you know not to do that, just like what we tell Kenny. Okay? Don't do that stuff, because look what happens. Look, look at the bee. The bee bit the monkey on the knee. Don't do that stuff either, okay? It's going to be hard to find people to play with if you act like that. Look what happens to the bee and the monkey. Because you're too smart, handsome, nice, good, and talented. Smart, pretty, nice, good, and talented to do that stuff. So let's get back to the S. Look at the monkey. Look at the bee. Oh, me, oh, me, hit, hit, bit, 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 hit, hit, hit. We already talked about that. Don't do it. The bee bit the monkey. The monkey hit at the bee. And look what happens to them. It's not fun then. Okay? Look, look, do you see the bee? Yes, I see the bee. The bee flies from the tree. The bee flies at me. C O O. The bee flies at me. Ooh. Learned a lot from that story about how to act appropriately and also how to do our S. Now remember, every kid is different. Go to a speech pathologist if you're having trouble with your S sounds and learn the best strategy for you. Because remember, life is supposed to be fun. Woo! Have a great day.